We've got a super simple app here. It just has some text and a button which switches between light mode and dark mode. All this button does is invert the is light mode state variable. Updating a state variable makes the app re-render. So every time the button is clicked, the app is re-rendering. The problem is when the app re-renders, it also re-renders any components on the page. By adding a log statement inside our button component, we can see this in action. Every time we click the button, it updates the state variable which re-renders the app. And when the app re-renders, it's re-rendering the button. Now this is a trivial example, but if we had 20 different components on the page, they'd all be re-rendered. And what if those 20 components also had their own child components? They would also be re-rendered every time this button's pressed. Ideally, this component would only re-render if it needs to. And by this, I mean if one of its properties has changed. We can achieve this by using use callback. The first thing we'll do is tell React not to re-render this button unless one of its properties has changed. We do this by wrapping the component in a memo call, which we import from React. You might think this would be enough. I mean, none of the properties are changing when the app's re-rendering, right? Well, because of how referential equality works in JavaScript, on each render of the app, this function here is actually classed as a different function from what it was last render. So this means the button will still re-render because technically the on press callback has changed. To fix this, we simply wrap this function in a use callback. This means React will essentially cache the function so that it's the same between renders. It will only recreate this function if one of the dependencies has changed. In this case, we don't have any dependencies, so our dependency list is empty. That means it will only create this function on the first time that the app renders. And with that, you see when the app re-renders, the button isn't re-rendering.